So the first and foremost step is to visit the official website at neat.nta.nic.in and then click on NEET UG 2023 Registration. A registration page will appear and then click on New Registration, which will lead you to the instructions page. Read all these instructions given on this page thoroughly. Since I have already read this, I will just go through this. And once you are done, scroll down to click on the declaration box below so that we can proceed to the next section. Fill in the candidate's name here. Please make sure you're reading the requirements mentioned in the box here. And then fill in your father's or guardian's name and then your mother or guardian's name. Then fill your date of birth here. After that, select your gender from this drop-down menu as well as your nationality from this drop-down menu. Then move on to select your identity type from this options mentioned here election card, passport, ration card, bank passbook or any other valid government identity with photograph. Select any one from these and then type your identity number for which you have selected the identity type. And then fill in the present address details here, the premises number and then the sub locality you live in and then the locality, the country you reside in and then select the state and district. Enter the PIN code here and then please enter a valid mobile number and then confirm it here. And now, enter a valid email address as it would be useful for your future references. And now, re-enter the email address in the next box. Once you are done, you can give either your parents or guardian's number for the alternative contact number. So if your present address is same as the permanent one, then click here on this box, same as present address. And if not, then fill in your permanent address details. And then moving forward, you will have to create a password as per the instructions given here. And then re-enter your password to confirm it. There will be a set of security questions. Select one from these and then enter an answer for the security question. Then enter the security pin that's mentioned below and then proceed to submit. A review page will prop up, just close it to move forward. Click on these boxes for verification purposes. Click it one by one. And then read this declaration and click on I agree and submit to get OTP. Enter the OTP you have received on your registered mobile number and submit the registration form. And now you are successfully registered. This is your application number. You can check your status here in this page. Now click on complete application form to move further. And then click on personal details to proceed to the next section. And then fill in all the personal details one by one here in this page. Fill in the state or UT from where you have passed your 12th or equivalent qualification. Select yes if you have any disability and no if not. Again select yes if you are a diabetic person and no if not. And then fill in place of residence, your family income. And then click yes if you belong to minority, no if not. Fill in the religious minority if you belong to the minority category. And then select the country you reside in. Select yes if you intend to wear customary dress contrary to the dress code while appearing in NEET 2023. And select no if not. Make sure you are filling all these details correctly. And then fill in your mode of preparation and then enter the security pin mentioned below. Now click save and next. Then a confirmation box will pop up. Click yes to move further. Select yes if you have Aadhaar number and then enter your application number that you received in the previous step and then enter your name, gender, 
and date of birth. And moving further, read these options given here and select the one which is appropriate for you. And then read the declaration and click on it and also fill your Aadhaar number correctly. And now click on the declaration box and enter the security pin. And click submit and next. And now we are at the apply for an exam center details. On the first box, you will already have NEET selected. So fill in the next box. Select the medium in which you want your question paper in. And then select your preferred exam state and city. And then your second choice for exam state and city. And then enter your father or guardian's occupation. And then their qualification. And then the same goes for your mother's or guardian's occupation. Select it from the drop down menu. And then select their qualification. And now enter the security pin that's mentioned below and then click on save and next. Click on yes and then now you have to fill your 10th or equivalent qualification details. Fill in your status here, the year of passing, the qualifying exam and then your place of schooling. And then the type of school you studied in. Choose it from the drop down box carefully and fill in the qualifying examination state and then select the district and select your school board from these options given here and then select the result mode then fill in your roll number carefully check it again to avoid any mistakes also enter your school or college name and address and then the pin code for your college or school and now let's move on to 11th or equivalent qualification details this follows the same line of questioning as the previous one so it would be easy for you to fill this time fill in all these details one by one carefully also make a practice of checking the details filled before you move on to the next section. Select the type of school or college, the place of schooling and then the qualifying examination state and then the district and then the school board and select your result mode and now enter the total marks. For, you, for which you wrote your exam for and then enter the obtained marks enter your roll number and then the school or college address and name and then the pin code of your school or college and then moving further 12th or equivalent qualification details again the same questions fill in all the details that had been that has been asked and then enter the security pin to move further say yes to the confirmation box and now fill in the additional details if you are a twin or applying together then select yes and no if not and then here if you have ever appeared in neat ug examination select yes and no if not and then enter the number of previous attempts in NEET UG if you have any and then select your place of birth from the options and then the state you live in the district you live in and after completing enter the security pin to move forward say yes to this confirmation box and next we will be filling the emergency contact details of parent or guardian select the country and enter the mobile number and then enter email address as well make sure you're entering the valid one and then enter the security pin that has been mentioned below and then click on get OTP you will receive your OTP on your mobile number and email address 
fill in the OTP for mobile and then fill in the OTP for email. You are now required to upload all the documents here. Upload the documents as per the size and format mentioned. Choose the file and then upload. Choose the passport size photo with 80% face without mask and then choose the file and upload it. You can view it, view it here. And then left and right hands, fingers and thumbs impression. Make sure you are maintaining the size of the document. And then your signature. And then the postcard size photo. Choose the file and upload it here. And now category certificate. For this you will have to upload a PDF and maintain the size between 50 to 300. Choose the file and then upload it. And then upload your 10 certificate. This should be in PDF as well. Between 50 to 300 KB. Choose the file and upload it. And then upload present address and permanent address proof documents. Upload it in a PDF format between 50 to 300 KB, choose a file and then upload it. And then enter the security pin that is mentioned below and then click save and next. You will see a confirmation page, say yes and then you will have to review it, just close it and then review all the details that has been filled. Check them carefully and then read and then click on all these boxes for verification. And now read this declaration and click on I agree and then final submission of application. Say yes to the confirmation page and now moving ahead you have to click on the uh, email ID to be verified so that we can verify the email ID. Enter the security pin that is mentioned and then click on submit. You will receive an OTP. Enter the OTP here on your registered email and then click on verify to proceed. Now click here to go to the home page and then proceed to pay the fee. Select the mode of payment. And now select the bank from these options given here. And then proceed to pay. Select whichever mode of payment you are comfortable in. And then make the payment. After making the payment, download the application form and take a printout for your future reference. Thank you for watching.